Right, guys, what you man saying, Tyson Fury, Usyk, is it going to happen? They keep saying there's a date. They keep saying, oh, it, it could happen. The next thing you know, it's not happening. Next thing you know, Tyson Fury is fighting some other guy, man. Is this fight happening or not? That's the question. If this fight doesn't happen early next year, it's like, or mid by mid 2023, what are we doing in the heavyweight division? But commentary before then, there's always going to be chit chat. What's going to happen? Who's, can I, who's actually going to win the fight? How will the fight pan out? A lot of people are just think, talking like Usyk's gonna uh, not Usyk, Furious is gonna go in there and bully Usyk, uh, outbox him. <laughs> the way people are even talking about outbox, like they don't even know what Usyk's capable of. But Shane McGuigan seems to be one of the people like me who's got some common sense. Shane McGuigan says that Tyson Fury could be in for a rude awakening in his showdown uh, with Tyson. Uh, no, <laughs> Fury could be in for a rude awakening with his showdown with on his under Usyk. In tongue tied, but yeah, man, I've already said this. I said Tyson Fury, it's not going to be some walkover job for him. He had serious trouble with Steve Cunningham. He's notoriously had you know trouble with shorter fighters. He fought Otto Wallen, who's a lot shorter than him. We saw what Otto Wallen was able to do, and Otto Wallen was able to do what he was able to do. And uh, what, what's his name? Steve Cunningham was able to do what he was able to do. And while that was a lot of the time, was able to still land shots. You're telling me Usyk's going to not have success against Tyson Fury? Is that what we're saying here? We're going to pretend like Usyk doesn't have pedigree? We're going to pretend like Usyk wasn't an undisputed cruiserweight champion for a reason? We're going to pretend like Usyk, you know, hasn't had the amateur pedigree uh, Olympic gold medalist? We're going to pretend that didn't happen? We're going to pretend like he didn't beat AJ twice? His whole package resume and his whole package and resume that he's got from what he brings to the table from his amateur days till now is my is is for me. If if we're gonna weigh it up fairly, I think he's better than Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, obviously, he beat Klitschko, which we could say hats off to him for doing that, and obviously, obviously beating um Deontay Wilder to win the WBC. But if we're gonna take things into totality, including what you did to get into this position, like we're going to undisputed, it's already been undisputed in the weight class, so arguably. You could say that Usyk has done better than Tyson Fury up to this point, bar the fact that Fury has done it in the heavyweight division. So let's if we're going to talk about pedigree, Usyk's got the pedigree. If we're going to talk about styles, people are talking about outboxing. You think Us Fury Usyk can't make adjustments and cause Fury problems? It's speed of foot, get in and out of range. Fury hasn't got the best balance in the world. Offsetting Fury, you know, trying to make him go off balance, especially, I guarantee you, Usyk is going to make Tyson Fury, when they fight, look very clumsy at times. People's going to be surprised. When you're you're fighting a smaller man, with the movement Usyk's got, taking that half step, moving in and out of range, and his engine, better engine than Tyson Fury. You know, this this guy is a formidable opponent. We're talking about Alexander Usyk here. He's not some knockover job. He's not, someone, he's not, he's not just going to go in there and get outboxed and go there and get knocked out. I'm telling you, it's not going to be an easy fight for Tyson Fury at all. And at the same time, for Usyk, it's probably it's a, the tallest fighter he's fought. And, you know, in terms of, you know, durability, Tyson Fury arguably could be one of the most durable he's fought. Like, Fury can get get dropped and get up. And do I see Usyk knocking out Tyson Fury? I don't see him knocking him out with one shot, but we've seen what... what we haven't seen Tyson Fury take accumulation of shots before, could that break Tyson Fury down? There's a lot of questions that need to be answered um, when these two fight. Because I've seen, obviously, we've seen Fury take one shot, bang, you know, and then get dropped. But from round one, it's peppering in, pepper Tyson Fury, pepper, pe peppering it, and then getting late rounds. Fury starts to, have we seen Fury get peppered with shots like this? The way Us is going to do it. But, uh, but at the same time, I feel like. <laughs> It's very interesting because Tyson Fury himself knows how to make adjustments as well. There's he he, he will know how to use his body weight in the fight. He will know how to tie up Usyk in the fight better than AJ was able to do. So I feel like Fury is going to be able to offset those things that you know Usyk did to AJ a lot better than AJ was able to. Um, he was gonna, I think Fury is going to be able to offset what Usyk's doing a lot better than AJ was was doing when he fought Usyk himself. So I feel like it's. It, it is going to be a very interesting fight. I I would still say, just because of the fact I've seen Usyk make adjustments in the past and adapt to certain situations, I still will put the fight as a 50-50 fight. 
a lot of people are just leaning Tyson Fury all the way, which I believe is a mistake because people did exactly the same thing with Anthony Joshua versus uh, Alexander Usyk. And those people need to come and tell me what happened. Why were their predictions wrong? Why didn't the fight go the way they said? Because you don't watch, you're not watching boxing. Go and watch Usyk fight. Go and watch Usyk when he fought Joe Joyce in the amateurs. Go and watch him fight taller opponents, heavy punches. You know, I, I don't feel like Tyson Usyk is going to... I wouldn't be surprised if this fight even went 12 rounds, to be honest, if Usyk and Fury fought. Just because of the, the way they fight, they're not they're not both notorious knockout artists. Well, Fury would like to call himself a knockout artist. seems to be <laughs> knocking people out a bit more these days. Knocked out Dylan White and obviously stopped Deontay Wilder twice. One by the towel being thrown in. Second, Wilder on the canvas. So, phew. Listen, all the answers will be answered in the ring, but I, I will still make this fight a 50-50 fight. Usyk does present a lot of <laughs> a lot of trouble to, to Tyson Fury. I'm telling you, the guy's movement, his boxing ability, his ability to just change pace in the fight very quickly is something Tyson... This is what Usyk brings, something Tyson Fury has not dealt with ever in his boxing career. I don't care what he says, talking about Steve Cunningham, brother... Usyk, you haven't dealt with. He's undisputed cruiserweight champion. Beat Anthony Joshua twice. Rough. This guy is a is a beast. Like he, I he's man. When man says I am fuel, it means he's ready, bro. That's what it means. So let's see what happens, man. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Alexander Usyk versus Tyson Fury. Is Tyson Fury underestimating Alexander Usyk? Uh, is this team underestimating him? You know, it's Shane McGuigan just letting them know the reality of the situation. I feel like Tyson Fury obviously comes in public and says a lot. Tyson Fury isn't underestimating Usyk behind the scenes. John Fury is not underestimating Tyson Fury behind the scenes. You know, Sugar Hill is not underestimating Usyk behind the scenes. They're taking Usyk very seriously. Trust me. Trust me. It's just the public, you know, they have to, you know, if you know how Fury is, it all gives him that drive. Like, who's this Usyk guy? What's he going to do? And it gets him that buzz, like, I'm going to stop this guy behind the scenes. It's putting in what was if you feel like you'll just be Usyk, just be eating your tacos, eating your burgers, you know, drinking anyhow, you know, you know, do half hearted training and go and fight Usyk. He's not going to do that. He's going to get in camp. He's going to train properly because he knows this guy is not some cream puff. He can't be cruiserweight, undisputed cruiserweight champion and go there, beat Joshua Tyson, and tell me that I, I, I'm just going to go in there. Nah, breath. So drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me see what you guys are saying about this fight. Usyk versus Tyson Fury. Hopefully, hopefully early 2023 they can get this thing agreed and sorted because this is a fight <laughs> that we you know we, we need to see happen man because i'm telling you now Usyk is scared of no Tyson Fury even Shane McGuigan says here Fury relies on his size and intimidation but Usyk doesn't um it does not um scare easily you know he said that the way he stared down Fury at the Chizora fight told us that he's not scared this Usyk is not scared of nobody New Tyson Fury, Gypsy King. This guy will go there and defer you, remove your crown, take it back to, you know, his, his homeland and, and talk about he conquered the Gypsy's breath. That is what Usyk's kind of planning to do and let's see if he can do it. So drop your comments in the comment section below. Let's see what you guys are saying about this fight. I will be replying to all your comments as well. So be sure to like the video and also drop your comments as well and subscribe and join the KO Boxing Vibe boxing community, you know, where we talk all things boxing. Cool.